students welcome to my channel conceptual lectures today our topic is thermal analysis or thermal characterization in this lecture we study the basics of thermal analysis and thermal characterizations so first of all we should know the reason why we are doing thermal analysis and thermal characterization so to answer this question we should know that when we develop the new materials and new alloys we should know their thermal behaviors so to study their thermal behaviors we have to do thermal characterization another reason for thermal characterization is for particular applications if we change the material to an existing material and we want to use the existing material in some application then we should study that materials thermal characterization and thermal behavior so that we can use that material in the particular application for example in the heat engines or the combustion engines we require to study their thermal behavior the next point is to study their overheating which induces the thermal stresses therefore we have to study the thermal characterization of that materials another reason is there is different thermal temperature distribution of every material and the temperature gradient of every material is also different so to study their temperature gradient and temperature distribution we should study their thermal behavior also the heat flowing from the environment to the sample or model what is the rate of the heat flowing we should study thermal analysis now let's come to the definition so from definition point of view thermal characterization or thermal behavior is a group of methods these are the group of methods to determine the physical or chemical properties of the material as a function of temperature which means that if we increase the temperature their physical or chemical properties changes so to study their change of the physical or chemical properties the methods used are known as thermal analysis in thermal analysis the sample is subjected to a controlled temperature program controlled temperature program means we should heat or cool or hold the temperature constant we can heat either cool or either hold that sample to a constant temperature for some time or any of these three sequences these are the controlled temperature programs so that we can study the physical and the chemical properties of the material so here from diagram we can understand that there are two samples one is basically a reference sample and the other is over test sample for which we are required to do thermal analysis and these are subjected to a controlled temperature program which is connected to a computer in thermal analysis we study two types of changes physical changes and the chemical changes so what is the physical properties that can change so physical properties are those those properties those characteristics which are observed without changing the identity in the physical properties we do not change the identity for example color density hardness melting point boiling point these remain the same and the chemical properties are those characteristics which changes the identity these are observed with the changing identity for example reactivity toxicity flammability enthalpy of formation heat of combustion oxidation and chemical stability so these are the chemical properties that we study under the thermal changes so now what kind of properties we can observe from physical phenomena such as melting vaporization 
or the polymorphic transformations while chemical processes are for example thermal decompositions oxidation of the metals and alloys and reduction of the solid metal oxides these properties can change during the controlled temperature program which can be studied so that we can understand the thermal characterization and thermal analysis of the materials there are many techniques to study the thermal characterization or thermal analysis we will discuss three types of techniques dsc dta and tga in the further videos and the subscribe my channel thank you so much